Hello subscribers and YouTube watchers from SlideNerd, this is Vivs over here. In this video, I am going to show you guys how to perform validation of the data that has been entered inside an edit text using something called text watcher. Before we discuss anything, let me show you a small problem. You have an app like this where you ask the user to enter a percentage value and he enters 200. Do you think this is acceptable? Well, of course not. Let me show you the piece of code. Here if you guys notice I have nothing great but just a text view and an edit text and I am using this android input type equals to number to ensure that the user can only enter numbers inside and I am using this android max length equals to 3 to ensure that the user cannot enter more than 3 characters inside the edit text. I have discussed about both these attributes in my previous video. You guys can definitely go ahead and refer to see how these attributes work. But for now, think about this. Despite all these attempts by you to ensure that the user enters a proper value, well, the user is entering 200. What can you say? So here, we are going to use a different method to validate and ensure that this kind of error doesn't happen. So once again, I have already discussed about events previously in my vid about button click. Here, I'm going to again give you a small overview. There's a person at your door and he rings your doorbell. What happens? The door circuit gets triggered and the doorbell rings. Now remember, everybody hears the doorbell, but only one person comes outside and opens the door. The same way events work in Android. Think about this. You have an edit text. The text changes inside your edit text. An event is triggered because of this change. And there is some guy called text watcher who is actually interested in listening to these changes. They have this text watcher has certain methods that you can implement and you can write code to decide what should be done when your edit text changes its content, right? So what are the different steps to ensure that the user will never ever enter an inc incorrect value inside your edit text? Here is something you should do. First, bring the edit text that you want to track or monitor inside your Java code. Then implement this text watcher either inside your activity or as an inner class or as a separate class or any other means that you feel comfortable with. Then implement all the methods inside the text watcher. Now remember, these are the methods that you are going to override to ensure that you take certain action when the edit text changes its content, right? Now remember, the most important step is the fourth step where you have to actually link the edit text and the text watcher because the text watcher should know who is the guy who is going to throw events at me and that is this edit text. For that, you have to use this step where you add the text change listener and last but not the least, use this method after text change to perform your validation. Now if you guys are not so clear about this, let's actually jump into Android Studio and figure out how this works. Alright, so here I'm using Android Studio. I have this project which is called edit text test and I have my main activity.java file which contains the Java code for the app and I have my activity underscore main.xml which is my appearance defined inside xml, right? So here you guys can see there's a text view which says enter the percentage and there's an edit text. Now this is the edit text that we want to validate and make sure that the user never enters an incorrect value. Now remember there is already some level of validation over here. By saying this input type equals to number, I have made sure that the user cannot enter anything other than a number over here. And I also have this max length equals to 3 to ensure that the user cannot enter a value greater than 999. But we still further need to customize this validation and ensure that the user will never enter a value greater than 100. So let's actually see how to do that. The first step to doing that is to bring this edit text inside Java code. So I'm going to go here to my main activity to Java. I'm going to remove this menu that you guys see over here and I'm going to say edit text my text. So I've created a reference. Next step, I need to link this reference to my XML by saying find view by id r dot id dot edit text. At this point, your Android Studio is going to say blah 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 incompatible types. Very simple. Press and uh, press alt enter on your keyboard and you can use this cast and there you see Android Studio has automatically typecasted it for us, right? Now the next step, we need to implement this interface called 
text watcher so let's actually do that in our activity by saying implements so there you see text watcher if i click implement again Android Studio is going to give an error saying blah 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 because you need to implement certain methods for this interface very simple I'm going to go ahead press alt enter over here implement methods and there you can see it gives me an option to which methods I should implement I'm going to select all and click ok and there you go these are the three methods that you have now remember at this point everything is set but we have still not specified that this is the edit text that we want to monitor using this text watcher for that I'm going to say my text dot add text change listener and there you guys can see this is needed inside the bracket it says text watcher watcher over here and since our activity implements this text watcher this is the reference I'm going to pass inside so before I do anything more complicated let me actually show you guys what happens with these methods all right so at this point I have done nothing great I just have a toast in three different places with three different messages showing what has happened right so let's actually go ahead and run this and see what happens as I try to change the text inside the edit text and see which method gets triggered right all right so here my emulator is up let's actually try entering something over here I'll just enter two over here as you guys can see it says before change on text change and after change you can see that the three methods are triggered if I enter something like three over here again you can see those three calls methods being sequentially called again if I try and changing something or removing something over here again as you guys can see those three methods get called right and we are going to use the after text change which is after I have changed this text so let's actually go ahead and override that method to make sure that the user never enters a value greater than 200 right all right so here in my after text change method there is this parameter which is called editable and you guys are probably wondering what is this it is nothing great it is just the text that we have inside our edit text so I'm gonna remove this toast over here and let's actually get the value the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna convert this to a string now the 200 which the user has entered is actually this editable object that you guys see over here so I'm gonna convert this to a string first then I need to check if this number is greater than 100 right so I'm gonna convert that to a integer by saying integer so at this point whatever value the user has entered inside the edit text is right here inside our integer dot parse and blah 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 right so it is in the form of this int number that you guys can see over here and I'm gonna simply check if this number is greater than 100 well I can simply say something like this if then what do we do in that case very simple we simply replace the editable by saying editable dot replace so if the user enters 200 we want to wipe that 200 out and replace it with 100 for that I'm gonna say the starting position as 0 the ending position as and the value that we want to replace is simply 100 so in other words what I have done very simple the user entered 200 that was represented by this editable that you guys see over here I converted that to a number by saying integer dot percent blah 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 and if I checked if the number is greater than 100 then simply replace everything by 100 right that's what I did so let me actually go ahead and run this all right so here my emulator is running now let's try to enter a value like 200 now remember for each character you enter the editable is being continuously monitored because of the text watcher so if I see two zero zero there you go there you go guys you saw that it happened dynamically it entered converted into 100 automatically but there is one small problem with this code let me show you what the problem is if you are a beginner this is where you're gonna make a mistake now take a look if I remove everything over here our app is gonna crash saying blah 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 test has shop stopped and you guys are like what the hell very simple think about this when there is nothing inside the edit text here you're trying to convert a empty string into an integer and that is going to throw a number format exception in Java so for that the best part is that you put a try catch over here and you do nothing when the exception is thrown over here so now what happens whenever there is an empty text this thing is gonna give an error called number format exception but nothing will happen since you have not done anything inside but the code will run and the app will not crash let me again demonstrate that by saying control s over here and clicking run at the top all right so this time we are back to the same problem now again I'm gonna enter 200 over here and you guys will see automatically it get converted to 100 this time I'm actually gonna remove the text by using this backspace button over here 
and take a look nothing happens the app does not crash because we have this exception handled by doing nothing inside the number format exception so if you guys have understood something out of this video please subscribe to my channel let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next bit have a nice day